what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hi there, my name is Lady Josephine, and I have been a burlesque artist for a long time. One of the questions that people always love to ask me is where did you get your costume? Well, believe it or not, there is no burlesque superstore where you go and get your burlesque costumes. Each item has its own story. So let me take you through some of the coolest pieces in my wardrobe and tell you a little bit about where they come from. that I'm wearing, I made myself. And it was hard and it took a really long time and I don't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> These beautiful underwear are also confectioned by moi and it's basically just a giant pasty that I put on a pair of custom underwear and glued a bunch of plastic mirror pieces to so that I blind you with my hoo-ha. <laughs> with it, but you know, my hair is not cropped. I just stuck on this big wig. So, you know, imagination. I made this, I actually made a whole video on how I made this. If you want to check me out on Instagram at the L D Y Josephine. So this is a costume and act that I probably made the costume for six times over because I've been performing it for many, many years. It is a whole slapper vibe. It used to be called Lady in White, now it's Lady in Red. Check her out. So this whole number came from a vintage store. Da, da, da. It is not actually from the 1920s. Things from the 1920s are literally falling apart at the seams, but it's some sort of recreation and it's giving me that Orientalism vibe that was so popular in that era. I then went ahead and added the feathers and the trim and all that jazz, honey. Then we have this gorgeous classic flapper number with the straight lines and the draping off the hips. This was originally a green dress. I dyed it this color. Dyeing things is not too scary. Anyone can do it. Um, and then I added all these beautiful crystals at the top. And I also stoned these gorgeous numbers. It took me forever. I don't recommend it. These, ooh, ribbons made out of the same silk as the lining. Ooh, so thought through. When I needed to get this costume, this dress lined, I went to a wonderful costumer who was making stuff for the ballet and the opera, got her to line this dress with a beautiful bias cut lining. Making linings for your garments and some, is something you often end up having to do in burlesque because of course we get to see the inside. Okay, I've gained weight in quarantine. This used to be this nice tight slip off the hips and God has helped me. It is not slipping anymore, but that's fine. I love my hips. I just, you know, need to get my costume altered. Yes! Freedom! This bra was originally a basic bra that got covered by some beautiful beaded vintage fabric and this gorgeous handmade little skirt was done by Lavender May, a costumer and burlesque artist that you should look up. I made the epaulettes myself. They're actually made out of pieces of vintage fascinators, so pieces of little vintage chapeaus, so that's how I got that curved structure to go over the shoulders and then just added some elastics and some decoration. I also hand dyed these tassels to match. A really easy way that I found to dye things is using acrylic paint and heat setting it with a hairdryer. Boom, boom.
Those were just a few of my burlesque costumes. If you want to see more, please comment, like, let me know because I've got a whole bunch more costumes and if you're really nice, maybe I'll show you my brand new one inspired by Dior for Galliano. Galliano for Dior. Pretty amazing. Spanks and sparkles. Hey, hey.